everybody living on the land in the northern part of Turtle Island, which is Canada, we are treaty people because the government signed these treaties on behalf of the citizens of Canada and our chiefs and leaders signed the treaties on behalf of the First Nations. So these treaties are binding and anybody living in Canada then has to follow what is outlined in these treaties. Yeah, and so I'm not Indigenous, I am of settler colonizer heritage uh, on both sides of my family. Um, and so for me, thinking about what it means to be a treaty person is knowing what the obligations are uh, for me and for my government, uh, the um, obligations that um, were agreed to a long time ago. Um, and that's something that I think we often don't know about and aren't taught about in school. Um, I'm from the West Coast where there aren't a lot of historic, there aren't any uh, historical treaties. Um, and so for we, me, what it means to be a treaty person is partly to educate myself about um, Indigenous uh, traditions and cultures in Canada, but also about uh, the, uh, what the treaties do oblige the nation of Canada to do. Um, and for me, uh, choosing to learn uh, Indigenous languages is part of uh, recognizing that I am a treaty person. Uh, if I am from Canada, then I want to I have familiarity with the languages of Canada. I think when I think of treaties too, I think of the understandings between the people because the chiefs who signed the treaties didn't necessarily speak the language of the government at the time and so then they were at the mercy of the interpretation of the translators so our indigenous peoples might have a different idea of what is outlined in the treaties than what the government thinks because of, of course what was written down was the government side and from the indigenous side it was all oral, so it was passed on from grandparent to parent to child, etc. So we just have the oral traditions of what we understand of the, the treaties. So I think that's important too, when we look at treaties, to try to understand whose perspective we're understanding these treaties from too, because there's always two sides to the story.